Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. Today I'm gonna give you a quick shrimp room update. I'm gonna talk about some of my ongoing projects, show you some tanks and show you some of my shrimps. And let's start with this brand new shrimp rack over here, which I recently built and start to fill with the tanks and cycling new tanks. These two tanks currently cycling and they are about one month into the cycle and I will be cycling them for another couple of weeks before adding the shrimps and they doing very well so you can see a lot of algae growing at the bottom on the glass so this is what I'm quickly want to talk about with you guys today look at this algae growing on the glass it's not only like green it's also the brown as well it's like a lot of type of algae growing which is very good because I know a lot of people clean this algae but I never do that because this algae is actually is a good food source for your baby shrimp and for your adult shrimps as well so if you have an algae on the glass it's really good sign of a very healthy tank and I'm not sure why it's growing so nicely here it's only one month old this tank and it's growing insane here I'm using the same substrate all the time I'm using the same setup with UGF box and I use the same uh, bacterial powder in all my tanks but sometimes it's growing very good, sometimes it's not growing at all. So for example, you can see the tanks at the bottom, which is in the cycle for about two weeks, and they don't have any algae here. There is a little bit of algae at the bottom of this tank, and you know, I was just still thinking, maybe there is a possibility it start to grow because I add some sweet potato. You remember last my video, I added some sweet potato to grow biofilm. And I'm thinking maybe this is the case. As a little experiment, I put some of the sweet potato in this tank, but I didn't put in this tank. And I'm gonna see the difference. If that uh, the algae on this tank gonna grow better, then that means the sweet potato is making something for algae to grow, which is gonna be a very great thing, you know, to, to find out. So, and also I want to give you a quick update on this sweet potato, you know, before in my last video I feed my shrimps with biofilm which grows on this sweet potato and I want to tell you that it's not okay to leave your sweet potato in the tank because I left it for a few days in my cow tank and then I noticed that my shrimps like uh, start to act in a little bit weird they stop eating the food you know they start to be less active and then I realized that they actually start to eat the potato itself and this is what you don't want to do because this potato is like 10 days old and it start to rot and it was fermented and God knows what inside in this sweet potato so basically you don't want to feed rotten sweet potato to your shrimp you want to feed the biofilm so I decided to make another version of this sweet potato biofilm grow thing and I just cut the little ball from sweet potato and wrap it into the cloth and uh, you can see here I have this sweet potato uh, wrapped into the cloth and uh, this is the good way to protect your shrimp to eat the sweet potato so if you want to feed the biofilm from your sweet potato make sure you put it in the cloth uh, like the same way as Lubao made so Lubao is the basically the same product you have like something bacterial powder or something inside Lubao which is uh, start to rot in the tank and grow biofilm and to protect the shrimp to eat this rotten bacterial powder they put it in the bag so they basically this is what I did I just put the sweet potato inside the bag the only problem is that I noticed that this sweet potato start to float so that's why I put this uh, stainless steel mesh on top just, just to keep it at the bottom of the tank so this is a little update on the biofilm uh, growing project even here you can see an example where I have the tank with Blue Dream New Carolina shrimp. You can see a lot of algae on the glass, uh, on the side glass, and there's a lot of babies feeding on this algae. I don't have this algae on many of my tanks. So, for example, this tank over here I have it for about one year, and I don't have any algae on the glass. And I don't know why, I just did exactly the same method. I used the same soil as I mentioned, same products and the algae is not growing here and uh, you can see on this tank I have some algae and there is a lot of shrimps feeding on this algae you can see they love to hang around on this algae and graze on it so this is like unlimited food for them and you don't need to worry about like to feed a powder food for baby shrimp because your baby shrimp will always find something to eat on the glass 
And here we have another tank. And I don't have much of the algae on the side and the back glass. But I have some algae in the corner of this tank at the bottom. As you can see, I have lots of baby. They love to feed on this algae here. I think the reason why it's algae at the bottom of this tank because the filter pointing to this corner and the water constantly running through that corner creating some algae to grow. This is what I noticed so if you point your filter towards the glass it's more likely algae to grow at that spot so you need the water current to grow. Guys I have a question for you. Maybe any one of you knows how to grow this algae on the glass of the tank. That would be great. Maybe somebody knows the recipe or maybe you need to add something in the water like fertilizer or ammonia or something. I'm not talking about the established tank. I'm talking about the cycling tank. So when you cycle the tank, what you normally add in your tank to start this algae to grow because this is the great thing to to have in your shrimp tank and sometimes some of my tanks they don't have this algae and i don't know why really so it would be nice to know this answer please let me know in the comment section below if you know the answer yeah thank you for that yeah i also have some mosquito larvae in these tanks i don't know how they get there i think mosquito fly here and hatch the eggs so yeah i need to catch them all i don't really like them to be here and they look very scary to be honest okay guys let's move to this side and i'm gonna quickly talk about this tank in the middle which is cycling as well as you can see here i have two pieces of sweet potato and also a lubao bag which is here just to grow some extra biofilm and also i believe that sweet potato and lubao release some ammonia in the tank and it's a, it's a good thing if you cycle the tank ammonia is a good thing because you just feed your uh, nitrogen bacteria with ammonia so this is what uh, you want really and in this tank at the bottom you can see that the, some algae start to grow as well in a few weeks i'll find out if that's the the algae growing because of the sweet potato or if algae growing because of something else. And now let's move to this tank on the right. Before we reset this tank I move a lot of berry shrimps in this tank and they start to hatch some eggs now and you can see uh, lots of baby here and on your screen you can see that uh, red bolt shrimp which has a blue eggs and this is a very good sign because this blue eggs is probably going to be a galaxy shrimp because this uh, red ball shrimp is came from galaxy and they cross with the, back to the galaxy mail so now they're gonna give us some more galaxies and the red eggs are hoping in they're gonna give us some red galaxies or maybe some red balls as well yeah I don't know so we will see yeah so this this tank is doing very well right now okay now we're gonna move to the to the bottom tank which is my coal tank where I keep all my calls and not only the coal shrimp but the shrimp I don't have a space for for example uh, when I restarted this tank some of the shrimps went to this tank because I just basically don't have a space for them and also here I have some Michelin shrimps which uh, I have from crossbreeding my Pinta and Galaxy shrimp with the uh, ordinary crystal red shrimps crystal black shrimps and here I put some Michelin's and I'm waiting for them to grow and the good news I have already one Michelin is buried and I think it's most likely buried from some uh, Taiwan shrimp or some Pinto shrimps here because there's not many males of non-Pinto or not Taiwan shrimps I also have some babies in this tank which is uh, also Michelin's because I have one crystal red and one crystal black shrimp and I think one crystal red shrimp gave both and also get buried straight after which is great so I have many little shrimplets and luckily they survived because I was worrying they not survive because I have a lot of um, scuds here which uh, I believe can eat the babies but fortunately they might not eat all the babies and some of the babies survived and I have uh, plenty of little babies in these tanks now and yeah so I want to give you a little update on this uh, Michelin project so you can see I have lots of beautiful Michelin's here which I want to crossbreed with my Pinto shrimp and once I finish my cycling my tanks I will move some of the good looking Michelin's in that tanks and crossbreed them back to with the Taiwan bee so one Michelin is already buried 
and I will move that buried shrimp into the new tank so and she's gonna be the first female who gonna give birth in the tank so we're gonna see what baby look like and I want to check if it's gonna be 50% of babies uh, Taiwan and shadow shrimps or it's gonna be less or more so we're gonna see it we're gonna check it once we uh, finish cycling tank and I move the shrimp to this tank yeah as you can see, I have some uh, Michelin which look like a normal crystal black or crystal red shrimps. So these Michelins are probably gonna sell or give it to somebody. I don't want to just to get like a, a simple uh, Taiwan shrimp. I want to get some more fancy one, like a kind of uh, interesting pattern one. If if it's simple pattern, that means uh, it's probably gonna give us uh, uh, like a blue balls or pandas or king kongs. Or, so it's probably better to keep some uh, Michelin which has the uh, interesting patterns because they're gonna give us an interesting looking shadow shrimp. Yeah. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for for update. I'm gonna give you an update in the near future on this because once I get more tanks I can move uh, some shrimps to the new tanks. So that was a quick update on this tank. Okay guys, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy, please give me a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you next time. Bye!